Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? I'm gonna head out, take some photos, do some street photography. In fact, let's do a test, make sure things are working. With the FTP, what I call live photos. I'll take a photo of our setup here. Let's see. Go check it out. Check out Hyena's Instagram. Very cool stuff. So that works. I think they should be on this side. I actually hate the dab thing, <laughs> but it kind of works. Grab our Sony A7 III with the 35mm f1.4 G Master. Fantastic combo. This thing here, if you're wondering what this is, because I get asked about it quite a bit. Someone say, hey, uh, what's that thing? <laughs> this is a magnetic mount. I've been talking very highly of this system. It's from a company called Ulanzi, not sponsored. I'm a real big fan. What I've got you guys on is a little tripod. It's got that magnetic mount as well. So I can just take you guys off that magnetic mount and pop you onto the top of this camera. Oh, I've also got one right here on my chest mount. It's just a really quick way to go from one thing to the other. And I just love it. Yeah, big fan. But if you're thinking about investing into the same system, hey, where's my, I think I'm missing something. I'm missing my lens hood. I hope that, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, let's pop that on, very important. Very important. If you are thinking about investing in that system, I would recommend going with one from the same company, Yolanzi, they have a pack or kit, a system called the Go Quick 2. In my opinion, a better version of this one. They look almost identical, but the mounts aren't compatible. And this is kind of its own isolated thing. So if you just want like two of these, one, two, and that's it, then this is fine. And this one's called the GP4. But yeah, if you're wanting more accessories, then I would say go with the other one, go quick to instead. I think very highly of the company because I've bought a few things from them, including this little microphone, which I've got hidden in here. It's a wireless microphone called the Yolanzi J12. Connected to my iPhone, you can get a version of it that connects to Android devices with a USB-C connector. I just really, really love what this does for me as a streamer, as someone who makes YouTube videos. I've got the camera a lot further away than what I would have had it with the old scarf mic. You guys might remember that. Got the scarf mic and I'm tethered, got a cable running from where my microphone was to the phone. So I really couldn't put it at a distance like what we've got the phone now. It just frees up the hands. I think the only downside to it is it is for the iPod. It is for USB-C. So if I was ever to go to something else like this camera, then it's not compatible with this. Okay, let's go. All right, so you're putting your guy onto this one. So we have the other option of on top of the camera. That's if I wanted to show you the view that the camera sees. But this one here on the chest mount is better so you can see me taking the photo. And then we can put this one down if we have it like a third person view. How are you doing, Ray? Welcome to the chat. This is not going to be a great photo. But I'm going to just try this. Oh, flying pigeons. Try another photo. Okay, drive mode, single. One low, burst, go high. Let's see. I'll just walk right through them. They'll just fly away. Oh, Jesus. I bumped into one of them away. Watch out, pigeon. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'll just have a quick preview of my one. Oh yeah, look at that one. Whoa, that one looks pretty cool. It's too bad it wasn't a little bit lower and pointing the camera up to get more of the light in. Otherwise, yeah. Pretty cool. Nice. I do like this artwork. So there's maybe people walking past it. Oh, here we go. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> sure, would have been better for our photo. Hot off the press. It's a good camera. 
I've got it maybe a little over a year ago. I'm really happy with it. Upgraded from the GH5. Still feels a bit small. I've got big hands and my my fingers don't cover the grip, you know. Ideally if it was just a little bit taller, it'd be much better. But I've gotten used to it. Like if I had the focus on the fence with the crowds of people out of focus, then that could be interesting. Or maybe of the feet, you know, people in a big group walking together. And I think that's has been an interesting type of photo that I've taken. But I'm just thinking if I tried, I'd get into trouble. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Consider looking at the other one like the 6100, 62, 63, I think there's even a 6500 and what works within the budget because they're just very incremental updates between each one of those. You might find that maybe the 6100 is fine. For me the 5100 which is a really really old camera from six years ago, it's okay. It's a, a perfectly fine camera. I'm sure the autofocus isn't as snappy and doesn't have some of the fancier features of the newer cameras but you might might be good with something like that instead and focus perhaps on lenses keep yourself a really nice lens maybe a 50 1.8 and kit lens with the 6100 but it'll be wide enough for landscapes it's a good entry point into discovering the type of photos you really really enjoy so you might think it is landscapes, but then decide later on maybe it's macros, or it's street photography, or it's one of all the other types of photography that's out there. And you just find yourself going, oh, I love this lens, but I think I need this one for what I'm doing now. And my only gripe with um, with the Yulanzi J12 receiver is that whenever I pull my camera up like this to take a photo the strap gets caught in the receiver. I'm wondering if it would be any different, if it would be better if I had one of those wrist strap things. But I do like having the camera just hang around my neck and free up my hands like this. Actually, I quite like the silhouettes of people walking past this bus stop. Thing is, I know they're going to look tiny. Yeah. <laughs> they look tiny on my 35 more. And I think the 85 would be a lot closer. <clears throat> kind of interesting. If you embrace the darkness. Right, this is the other sculpture. There's that one that looks like a, an eagle. I've got like hundreds of photos of it. But yeah, they're directly opposite each other. And there is a story behind it. I don't like the colors as it bounces off the surface. Try for out of focus, no? too dark over here and on this side okay well it's interesting yeah I'm not sure it's one of those things we have to see it on a bigger screen I think there's more light what do you what's the word it's spread out over the surface so it's not really out of focus I just remember this spot on my first IRL streams. That's a cool subject. That is me for today, guys. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>